Hello, I think I'm live on the Pickle Paintbrush. <laughs> um, if I am, somebody let me know. I'm actually doing a little experiment. I was just about to do a little experiment with um, painting on this jacket and I thought I might as well go live and share it with you guys. And if I fail, well, awesome. I might save you a uh, <laughs> denim jacket. Um, Pippa, how are you doing? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. I figured it out, I think. Although this is, it's kind of, it's different. But anyway, let's, let's, let's rock on. So what I'm going to do is, here we go. Um, I've got this denim jacket. Yeah, new laptop. Yeah, I didn't tell you that, Pippa. <laughs> um, just another thing I didn't tell you. Um, <laughs> I, I've experimented on this one before with spray paint and I thought the spray paint would be really vibrant and bright on there and really it just sunk in and it didn't look any good. I also had a wooden cutout that says life is good and that's what I used as my stencil, but it just didn't really work out. So then I got a paint pen and I started to go around and outline it, but it really doesn't, it still doesn't look good. So now I'm going to paint over the whole thing with some house paint <laughs> now um actually it might be a good idea to have some uh spray bottle now i don't really mind if this um goes a bit crunchy and a bit hard because it's a denim denim jacket so then they're a bit hard anyway so you can use fabric softeners when you're painting on fabric i'm not even going to bother because because i'm not going to bother so i'm just going to get in and paint it's a bit of a tanny colour and I'm going to paint this whole panel this colour and see how it turns out. And then if it turns out good, oh, let's see if it's going to cover all of that from before. I don't know if that's going to show through, but it won't really matter because my plan is um, going to be pretty cool. Now, this brush is not big enough for me to cover as much as I want to cover. So let me, oh, actually, up here. Right, I'm using house paint, so I'm going to use a house painting brush because it's going to cover lots of area. So I actually thought it would be nice, and I've taped off the sides here so I can not worry too much about um, going over the sides because I can just pull that tape off after. Let's see. Um, I thought it'd be good to go live at this time. I used to think, oh, people will be at work, they won't be, um, they won't be able to see it. And then I thought, oh, I forgot to put tape across there. I thought about people in Melbourne who are all stuck at home. So if you're in Melbourne, enjoy. <laughs> Actually, if you're anywhere, enjoy. But, you know, it uh, could be a good time to go live and, and entertain some of the peeps stuck at home in Melbourne. I can see some of that starting to come through, but that's all right. I'm going to cover it up. My plan is to do that whole panel like a tanny colour and then I've got a leopard print stencil. How good is that? So I'm going to do, I'm going to try to match my shoes uh, and give myself a bit of a leopard print denim. Now, should I take that off? I probably should because I don't want to be crying about it later. Um, I've also been working on, oh, some new paintings for um, Pickle Paintbrush classes. Oh, I was meant to bring it in here and I didn't. I've just posted a picture actually of the peacock. It's uh, a red peacock and I just thought it was a bit of fun. So let me know if you've seen that on the page and if you haven't, go have a look and let me know in the comments if you like it or if you think it, it needs something. The edges. And I don't want it to move. I'm doing it upright. This is probably a very bad idea, but hey, <laughs> let's do it anyway. Right. Now, I've got a bigger brush. I bought this brush at Bunnings. It's like a, I don't know what, what it is, but it's not for canvas painting. It's for house painting, but I use it on my canvas. It's awesome. When you're doing really big, abstract type paintings, it covers a lot of covers a lot of um, area it was expensive well I can't remember just I know it was more expensive than my other little brushes but anyway I'm going to go with I'm just going to use my own um, acrylic paint that I even use for my classes because I don't have 
Oh, the reason I'm using house paint for the other thing is because another, it's another little Bunnings thing. They have a mist tint trolley, and so they'll have all these mist, mismatched colours that they've mixed up wrong, and you can buy little pots for two, three, four bucks. So I always check it out because they always, um, well, sometimes have some really cool colours. So anyway, but I couldn't get any black, so I'm just using my own um, black. Now, I've been painting today, so my palette is really covered in paint. To get a lot of the paint off the brush so it's not really blobby. I'm just going to do that. And then you're going to have to cross your fingers for me, folks. Right. Just dabbing it straight on to straight up and down. I'm not going to paint it because that's when it goes under the edges. And I'm also not going to go right up to the edge because I don't want to get that straight line. A little preview. Oh, it's looking all right. If I was on the table, this thing wouldn't be bouncing. <laughs> Every time I hit it, it bounces back. Whew, it's going to take a little while. Hey, Anne, how are you? Okay. getting there it's getting there oh goodness me I think this friend that has bought through my dollies the one hey I'm on Facebook live <laughs> that was my housemate she was about to walk in the stuff <laughs> swearing and carrying on no <laughs> that's all right I'm always jumping on live and um, random times. So, I think this is going to turn out okay. So far, so good. Oh. Now, luckily, um this stencil connects to the other side so i'll be able to go over and do the other side and just line it up that one's not very might look cool if it's not completely solid anyway it's exciting. You guys excited? <laughs> Let's see what happened. I'll pull that off because I'll probably use that again in a sec. And this one. Not too bad. It's going to look even better when I put... I've got a, a chocolatey brown that's going to go on there as well. And, of course, some, some gold. I'm going to add some gold to it. So now if I'm real careful, oh, I'm going to have to wait for that to dry before I go in. And that's going to take some time to do the whole thing. I didn't think about that. No, that's okay. So <laughs> I'm going to have to wait for that to dry before I go on for the next layer and line up the pattern because... Otherwise, the wet paint's going to stick on the back of here and that's going to be a problem. So, yes. Okay. Anne says cool and epic. Yeah, hopefully. Hopefully it's going to look good. So I've got these shoes that I'm sort of hoping to match into. So I've got some chocolate brown paint, house paint, that I'm going to put in the middle of these uh, black squiggly lines. And that's, oh, I just realised I forgot to do something else. Never mind. Um, I can add it later. Cool. So you guys are going to have to come back to another live or I might just come back and do a big reveal when it's all done. So, yeah. So let me know actually if you guys, um, what you think of that. And also 
I've started to use stencils in my in-person classes too, and it's so much fun. Um, it's just so much fun. One day I might just do a class where all, I'm just going to bring all my stencils and I've got a lot and um, just have a bit of a play and a bit of a free for, you know, do whatever you want with the stencils because it's so much fun. So let me know if, you, you, if you've used stencils yourself or if you've come to one of my classes uh, and used the stencils and how good was it or even if it was a bit hard, let me know because um, I just love them. I think they're so cool. And look, look what I've just done on my denim jacket my denim vest i'll be able to wear it with my shoes and match it's gonna look cool okay so all right I'm, i think i'm gonna go because we're just watching paint dry <laughs> so and i want to look back and see what this this um video looks like and see if i can use it for my virtual paint parties or if i just need to get uh, a new an iphone instead of a samsung you can flip your videos on iphones but you can't on samsung Anyway, thanks for jumping on. And um, Emma, this is what I learned to do because of you. Stenciling. That's so cool. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I'm just, it's, it's funny because the comments aren't coming up above the, the in front of the picture. So I'm just trying to get my head around this. Thanks for being um, with me while I experiment, being my little guinea pigs watching. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I might really go to town on that a bit later. And... I could have added, I might add some gold before I do the black because what I was meant to do is, I don't know if you can see if I put this up close. In the light tan bit, there are actually little flecks of the brown as well. So I was going to do that, but I totally forgot. Oh, but I can just do it after because looks like that's what they've done. So many possibilities. If this looks good, I'm going to do more. And what I'm actually going to do, if, if it looks good, is on the front I'm going to do the little um, top of the pockets to match so that and maybe even a little panel on the front maybe in there or something so that we've got a carryover so how cool would that be stencil class would be such fun I, I, I started to do a oh, I started to do let me go grab it because this is really cool <laughs> I should have had it with me beforehand hold on Okay, I'm back. So I started to, I wanted to do a new wreath painting, which I still want to do, to do uh, around Remembrance Day. And I thought, what if I had a stencil in the background? And then <laughs> I did this and I absolutely love it. How good is that? So it didn't take very long at all, but I thought to do a uh, class with a stencil like that, and it's not perfect, but I think that's kind of what makes it look cool. Um and maybe with a little candle or a little plant or a little Buddha statue or something like that that we could paint or do something with. But how pretty is that? It's just a canvas. I painted it brown and then I've got a giant half mandala stencil that I did on there and I just love it. So let me know if you'd like to do something like this because I would like to and I'm down if you're down. All right. Naughty, I didn't put my brush in the water. Okay, guys. All right, I think I'm going to go. It's pretty, hey, pretty Anne. I'm going to go. I'm going to carry on doing this when it's dry. Put it maybe in front of the heater again. Thank you for jumping on to watch this live if you're watching the replay. Thanks for doing that as well, and I will see you again soon. Remember, whatever you're doing, make sure you have – I was just looking for how do I end the video. <laughs> whatever you're doing, make sure you have fun doing it. I will see you again soon. Bye.